Assalamualaikum, hi guys So kali ni video saya simple je uh, In this video, I will explain how to solve question involving bond haber cycle So let's start So first kita kena tahu bond haber cycle ni sebenarnya apa It is an approach to analyze reaction energies So it apply has law to calculate the lattice enthalpy by comparing standard enthalpy of formation of ionic compound to the enthalpy required to make gaseous ions from the elements. So basically, bond haber cycle ni kita nak relate kan antara lattice energy dan juga enthalpy of formation. So kat situ ada flow dia lah. Okay, daripada flow tu ada things yang kita boleh cari. So kita tengok contoh seterusnya. Okay, these are the steps. Uh, how can we solve a bond haber cycle question? First, you have to write the equation of formation of the salt. Next, write equation of lattice energy of the salt. And lastly, kita kena joinkan transformation daripada metal nak jadi cation dan juga daripada non-metal to become an ion. So the first example is NaCl. So ada dua method yang kita boleh guna kat sini. The first one is energy cycle method and the other one is energy level method. So sebenarnya dari segi marking kedua-duanya tak ada masalah nak pilih method yang mana-mana pun. Tapi kalau ikut konsep sebenarnya yang ikut energy level tu lah international level yang sebenar. Tapi untuk peringkat metric energy cycle method pun diterima. Ok, so kat sini kena First step tadi kita kena tulis equation of formation ya Untuk NaCl So NaCl ni terdiri daripada sodium Dan juga klorin So kita buat equation of formation ya Ini disebabkan kat sini kita ada satu je Cl So kita letak half lah So this is the equation of formation for NaCl The next one is We have to write the equation for lattice energy Kalau lattice energy ni pula, cara kita nak hasilkan salt ni daripada ion-ionnya dalam bentuk gas. So, NaCl terdiri daripada Na plus gas plus Cl minus gas. So, kita akan dapatlah NaCl juga. Ok, so kat sini kita ada formation. Kat sini kita ada lattice energy. Ok, so sekarang kita kena tunjukkan flow daripada Na solid macam mana finally dia akan jadi Na plus gas. So, in order for solid to become ion, first dia kena jadi atom gas dulu. Okay, so, daripada Na solid dia akan jadi Na gas. Ni yang kita panggil sebagai atomization of Na. Next, dah bila dah jadi atom gas, barulah dia boleh remove one mole of electron dan jadi Na plus gas. So, kat sini kita panggil sebagai First, ionization energy of Na. Next, we do the same thing untuk bahagian anion pula. So, half Cl2 gas dia akan jadi monoatomic gas lah. Cl gas. So, ini yang kita panggil sebagai atomization of Cl. Next, daripada dia dah jadi dalam bentuk atom gas, barulah dia boleh jadi N ion by accepting one mole of electron from N A plus tadi lah. So, ini kita panggil sebagai electron affinity of Cl. Okay, so, disebabkan dia terima satu mole electron je, so dapatlah E A 1. So, kat sini kita boleh selesaikan lah mana-mana yang dikosongkan nanti contoh kalau dia suruh cari enthalpy of formation and then diberi, diberi semua enthalpy yang lain ni. So, kita add up kan lah according to as law. So, HF equals to uh, atomization of Na plus IE1 Na plus atomization of Cl plus dengan Ea of Cl plus lattice energy okay, ataupun mana-mana yang berkenaan lah. So, that's for energy cycle method. Untuk y axis first label the energy. So, we have to start with writing the salt name at the bottom. So, kita mulakan dengan equation of formation lah. So, NaCl is made up of Na solid plus half Cl2 gas. Gariskan. Gariskan. 
So kita boleh selesaikan sama ada kita nak solve for in A first Dah selesai sampai in A plus baru kita solve for CL tu Ataupun kita terus boleh buat uh, by by step Contoh atomization of in A then atomization of CL dan seterusnya lah So terpulang So saya akan mulakan dengan atomization of in A So from in A solid it will become in A gas So bahagian CL tu ni kita kekalkan je sebab kita cuma ubah bahagian NA sahaja so salin semula lah so setiap kali kita buat equation kita kena garis ya then after we have done the atomization of NA so saya pilih untuk buat atomization of CL pula so bahagian NA ni salin semula So, half CL tu akan jadi CL. Okay, so, kita dah selesaikan bahagian atomization. Next, Na plus. Next, Na gas will become Na plus gas. So, this is the first ionization energy of Na. So, bahagian CL ni kita salin semula sebab kita cuma buat IE1 Na je. So, dalam setiap arrow ni cuma boleh ada satu enthalpy sahaja. So, yang bahagian yang kita tak usik tu, kita salin semula je lah. So, disebabkan, this is the first IE of Na. So, it remove one mole of electron. So, electron ni wajib tunjuk. Next, Cl will accept this electron to become Cl minus. So, ele electron affinity, the value is always negative. So, dia akan turun ke bawah lah. So, Na plus plus Cl. So, Cl will become Cl minus. So, face wajib tulis ya. So, this is the electron affinity of Cl. So, ini equation of lattice kan. So, kita boleh terus sambungkan ke bawah lah. So, this is the lattice energy of Na Cl. So, tengoklah kita nak cari yang mana. Okay. So, delta HF equals to Na. Atomization of Na plus atomization of Cl plus IE1 of Na plus EA plus LE lattice energy. So, kita akan dapat mana-mana ni lah. MgCl2. Okay. So, macam tadi. First, you have to write the equation of formation of MgCl2. So, MgCl2 is made up of Mg solid plus Cl2 gas. So, dapatlah. Mg Cl2. So kat sini kita tak letak half sebabnya pada salt ni kita perlukan dua atom klorin. So we leave Cl2 as it is. Then for the equation of lattice energy. So Mg Cl2 is made up of Mg2 plus gas plus 2 mol of Cl minus in the form of gas. So it will form Mg Cl2. So now let's label di enthalpy so from Mg solid to become ion first it should become atomic gas so this is the enthalpy of atomization of Mg then before it become Mg2 plus it has to remove one mole of electron this is the first ionization of Mg And Mg gas will become Mg plus gas. Then, for the second ionization energy, it will become Mg to plus gas. Now, for the Cl2, now for the chlorine part, Cl2 gas, it will become 2 mol of Cl atom. So, this, uh, this is the enthalpy of atomization of Cl. So, kat sini kita ada 2 mol. So, kat sini awak kena darab 2 lah nanti. Untuk value dia. So, from 2 Cl gas, dia akan boleh terus accept 2 mol of electron and it will become 2 Cl minus gas. So, this is the electron affinity of Cl. So, disebabkan dia melibatkan 2 mol. So, yang ni pun kita kena darab 2 nanti. 
So kalau dikosongkan mana-mana kat sini awak kena soft lah Bahagian mana yang dikosongkan untuk kita cari lah By using Haslaw eh. So now let's solve MGCL2 by using energy level method So sama macam tadi first kena ada Y axis Don't forget to label energy First kita tulis dulu the name of the slope at the bottom here so, we start with the equation of formation of MgCl2. So, MgCl2 is made up of Mg solid plus Cl2 in the form of gas. So, kita gariskan. So, from Mg solid, we come to Mg gas. This is the atomization of Mg. So, the Cl2 ni kita starting semula lah. So now do the same thing for Cl2. So Cl2 will become two atom of Cl in the form of gas. So bahagian Mg ni sadin semula. So in order for Mg gas to become Mg2 plus gas. So first it has to undergo first IE. Then it will become Mg plus in the form of gas. So dia akan release one mole of electron. Next, it will become Mg2 plus gas plus 2 electron. So, this is the second ionization of Mg. So, kita dah selesaikan bahagian Mg daripada Mg solid sampai dah dia jadi Mg2 plus gas. Now, kita selesaikan untuk Cl pula lah. The 2 Cl gas will accept 2 mole of electron and dia akan jadi 2 Cl minus lah. So, untuk electron affinity, the value is negative. So, this is the equation of lattice energy. So, kita boleh terus joinkan dia kepada bawah sekali ni. So, just label lattice energy of MgCl2 So, kita tengok contoh seterusnya MgO So, first write the equation of formation for MgO So, MgO is made up of Mg solid and O2 gas So, it will become MgO so, since kita ada satu sahaja O kat sini, so kita kena letak half lah kat depan. Untuk so, lattice pula, Mg2 plus gas plus O2 minus gas. Okay, so, macam tadi kita kena figure out lah from Mg solid macam mana finally dia akan jadi Mg2 plus gas. So, first it has to become Mg gas first. Okay, daripada solid kena jadi gas ataupun kalau liquid kat sini ke Biasanya bahagian sini metal lah So dia akan berasal pada solid So kena jadi atom gas dulu Barulah boleh remove elektron untuk jadi ion gas So untuk oksigen ni pula Daripada half O2 dia akan jadi satu atom oksigen So this is the atomization of O Okay, so sekarang ni O2 minus. Maksud dia akan accept 2 mole of electron. So, first untuk accept 2 mole electron, dia kena jadi O minus dulu lah. So, ini kita panggil sebagai first electron affinity of O. Okay, then yang ni barulah kita ada second electron affinity of O. Okay, so kat sini kita tak perlu darab 2 eh. Sebabnya, uh, satu mole sahaja yang terhasil. By using energy level method, so first kena ada energy. So, kita tulis dulu nama salt ni kat bawah sekali. So, macam tadi kita start dengan equation of formation. So, Mg solid plus half O2 gas. So, dari sini daripada Mg solid. Okay, so let's see kalau macam tu saya nak selesaikan by part pun boleh. Tak ada masalah. Okay, so Mg gas. So, plus half O2 gas. So, this is the atomization. Mg. So, from Mg gas, it become Mg plus gas. 
This is the first IE of MG. So yang lain ni kita salin je sebab tak ada perubahan. Next kita buat untuk second ionization of MG. Selesai bahagian MG ni kita selesaikan bahagian O pula. So yang ni kita tambah E ya. Eh. Okay. So yang ni salin je balik bahagian MG tu plus tu. Plus O gas. Plus 2E. Okay, so yang ni atomization of O. Okay, so O dia akan accept electron pula nak jadi O minus. Okay, sebab finally kita nak O to minus kan. So, kita kena jadikan dia O minus dulu. So, first electron affinity the value is negative. Okay, bahagian IE sahaja ya wajib tunjuk electron. Okay, bahagian yang ni tak tulis pun tak apa dah. So, this is the first electron affinity. And then, the second electron affinity, the value is always positive because of the repulsion of electron. The process requires energy. So, kena naik semula lah. Kita dah sampai the final step. Okay, sebab kita dah ada Mg2 plus dan juga O2 minus untuk menghasilkan MgO. So, kat sini lah kita boleh joinkan ke bawah. This is the lattice energy. Now, let's go to the last example. Okay, yang ni saya akan tunjukkan guna energy cycle method sahaja. Kalau energy level, awak boleh cuba sendirilah. So, write the equation of formation first. So, Na2O is made up of Na solid plus O2 gas. So, kita akan dapat Na2O solid. So, disebabkan kita ada 2 mol Na kat sini. So, sini kena darab 2 lah. And then, we only have 1 oxygen here. So, you have to put half. So, this is the equation of formation. Next, uh, the lattice energy equation. So, Na2O is made up of Na plus 2 mol of Na plus in the form of gas plus 1 mol of O2 minus in the form of gas. Now, let's complete the steps. So, Na solid. To become an A plus gas, first it has to become an A gas first. Atom gas, yeah? So, this is the enthalpy of atomization of Na. Since we, it produced 2 mol of Na, so you have to multiply by 2. Next, from Na gas, kita akan remove electron lah. Okay, dapatlah Na plus gas. And then, disebabkan melibatkan penghasilan 2 mol Na plus. So, IE ni nanti kena darab 2. So, let's go to the oxygen. So, untuk O2, uh, since kita perlukan saat, dia akan menghasilkan satu atom O sahaja. So, tak perlu darab dua lah. So, this is the enthalpy of atomization of O, of oxygen eh. So, from here, it has it has to accept one mole of electron first. So, this is the electron affinity Ea1 of oxygen. Next, the second electron affinity of oxygen. So, bahagian oxygen ni tak perlu darab dengan apa-apa sebabnya menglibatkan satu mol sahaja yang terhasil. Okay. So, that's all for bond hair cycle. So, harapnya explanation ni membantu awak untuk construct ya. So, terpulang pada awak nak pilih mana-mana method. Kalau soalan tak emphasize which method you have to use, so it's up to you. You can use either energy cycle method ataupun energy level method. So that's all. Bye.